welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, can I create a custom layout in Log4j2 by extending abstract string layout to customize my output message? Let's break it down. The viewer is currently using Log4j2 with a pattern layout, but wants to know if it's possible to write their own layout. They've checked the documentation, but found only variations of existing layouts. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Yes, you can create a custom layout in Log4j2 by extending the abstract string layout class. This allows you to define how your log messages are formatted. First, you'll need to create a new class that extends abstract string layout. In this class, you will override the to serializable method to define your custom output. In the to serializable method, you can access the logging event details such as the message, timestamp, and log level. Use these details to format your log output as desired. Finally, register your custom layout in the log4j2 configuration file, specifying your layout class. This will enable log4j2 to use your custom layout for logging. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In this video, we will create a custom layout for Log4j2 called MyHTML Layout. This layout formats log events into HTML table rows. The MyHTML Layout class extends abstract string layout and overrides the to-serializable method to build the HTML output. In the to-serializable method, we capture the log event details, including the timestamp, log level, logger name, and message. We also handle exceptions by appending the stack trace to the log output if an exception is thrown. The create layout method is a factory method that allows us to specify the character set for the layout. Additionally, we define header and footer methods to wrap the log entries in HTML tags. Next, we configure the layout in the log4j2 XML configuration file specifying the custom layout for a rolling file appender. This setup allows us to log events in a structured HTML format, making it easier to read and analyze. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped get you that answer that you're looking for. Now, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe for more question and answer videos. And if you have any more, please shoot them through in the comments. Have a good one.